Jammers versus Aztec, wa Aztec Water Llamas. And hopefully we can see a good race out of the book. These guys are Frostbite's got a, a low 51 time. I do not know what Gainai's time is, unfortunately. Actually, no, I know he has a low 48, or a mid 48. So we are actually going to be seeing around a 2 minute PB difference. Go. The game audio is quite loud. Both players getting getting uh, bomb clip. I think they both failed black to skip. So there's no reason they should be one fifty. Here, how does this sound? Is this good? Is it boosted good enough? Like, can you hear me properly? Okay, well, uh, sorry for the audio issues. I'm glad they got sorted out. Um, I did miss their Womps 100, but I'm assuming it's pretty good, assuming that they are on 52. I'm gonna turn down my mic again then, if it's good. Okay, and uh, they both are on relatively decent pace. Both have seven stars, and they're, they're barely under six minutes. 
which means our Womps 100 couldn't have been too bad. And now we are going to go see how they deal with the Womp King. Womp King is uh, pretty easy, but there is a there is a little lineup you can do to land on the star directly as it spawns. And that's what we're going to see these runners trying to do. And I think Dynai did get it, so you'll see what I am talking about. And he did. Then Frostbite also got it. Guy and I sliding down the slope, definitely probably one of the most annoying slopes to slide down, and him having to go for the backup strat, giving Frostbite a little bit of time save over Guy and I, definitely gonna bring bring back it a little bit, and uh, Guy and I did get a sub seven, and Frost is barely getting over seven, losing about 23 seconds to his PB. Now we can come back to the slide. We get to see a masterpiece of slide, more slide, and jumping off the slide. It looks like he's also gonna get a 12, a guy now is gonna get another 12, and it looks like Frostbite's headed for a 12 as well. A 12.7, so a little bit better of a 12. And clean slide. And now we see Wing Cap. Mario wings to no, this is not wings to the sky, I don't think. But this is the Wing Cap stage. And it has one of the most uh interesting fast strats where you dip down before and grab the two bottom lines of coins before grabbing the ones at the very top. Which I think is a pretty fun piece of movement. It is um somewhat difficult if you're not uh too well versed in the controls of flying. Um but it, it definitely is a learning process to get that fast ride down, which I think saves around two to five seconds, depending on how fast you are afterwards. And as we can see, Gainai and Frostbite both entering Dark World. Frostbite around 10 seconds behind. Or not, no, no not even 10 seconds, but... Guy and I, it looks like he's going for the standard shig, and I'm assuming that Frostbite will also be going for standard shig. I am sorry about the floor creaking. Yep, both runners going for standard shig, and Guy and I is actually getting shig. Same with Frostbite, as long as he doesn't screw up this last jump, and he made it. Both runners getting a shigeru cycle. Frostbite missing his throw, and Guy and I currently collecting the key to go to the basement. But you won't see them go into the basement yet because they get to go to Bob on Battlefield again for one last star. Oh, and Gainai missing the triple jump, definitely losing ground 
uh, 10 ish seconds, depending on how fast he backs this up and if he gets it this try. And he did get it this try. Uh, Frost is going to be saving a little bit of time where he lost, and Frostbite getting it first try. What? 1103 exit, and around an 1107, uh, 1109 exit. So that is around six seconds. Six seconds opposed to 10, what it was earlier, is definitely marginal improvement. And anything can go wrong on the penguin slide. Penguin slide definitely is a little sketchy sometimes. Sometimes you'll butt bounce and then start flying over every single coin, which is not ideal. But you can ask any runner that and they'll just tell you the same thing. Peggle. Guy and I going for wall kicks first? I can't say I've seen this, uh, except for today. A lot of people have been going for wall kicks first. Does anyone know the reason for that? Uh, but Frost going for slide. Definitely my personal choice of movement. Let's go for it first. Guy and I grabbing the penguin and getting an interesting bounce off of the ground instead of uh just sliding and bouncing he decided to press the a button frost now grabbing the penguin himself going down to meet its mother Gainai now doing the slide, and getting the fast route without having to dive on that platform right there, which would lose him a couple of seconds. Uh, and if he wouldn't have dived, he would have died. Frost is now going for 100 coins plus penguin race. Grabbing the safety red, definitely optimal for if you're going to be going into a race. And I think Gaiman is now going for reds as well. Gaiman grabbing the blue coins. That's a, definitely an interesting route and taking a couple of ground pounds along the way. I wonder if he still grabs it, and he does still grab that red coin. Maybe it's just a safety thing, maybe it's a closure thing, just so he makes sure that he does have enough coins. But it looks like Frostbite is going to have one extra coin. The thing about if you grab the safety red, you only want to have one extra coin while you're at the end, because you need 85 and he grabbed 86, because if you grab 87, you cannot long jump to that star after you got after it spawns. Uh, so you have to jump kick up backwards, which loses around 3 seconds. Gainai in the slide now, and it looks like he's got 85 exactly, and Frostbite still has one more star to go, which is wall kicks. And Frostbite getting a 1447 exit and Gainai dying. Frost heading into Big Boo's Haunt. And Gainai is still stuck on the penguin. Taking a death, especially after grabbing all those coins and having the star spawn, is definitely not ideal. Here we go! 
looks like we've got a new chant going on, and I shall read it to the public. Admit you're lost to support Frost. Just over and over again. Uh, Timmy, how are you doing on this fine evening? Frostbite missing the wall kick. Hey, Timmy. Uh, and getting a 1622 70-star BBH exit. That is pretty good. Uh, I think his average is around... 40, I don't know, 35, 40, about, and he is going to be heading into the basement. Hopefully he does not forget about MIPS. And it looks like he's going to be, oh, missing MIPS. Uh, he was a little too fast. Looks like he's going to be going and getting MIPS. So after he is done. It looks like Frost is now currently getting the Klepto Moon. Stop. Frost now getting the final moon in SSL. Having to go back and get the bun. Guy and I getting the rabbit. Saving a little bit of time over. Over Frostbite. And it seems like Frostbite's gonna opt to get the rabbit after exiting LOL. Ganai missing quest, getting the Klepto backup. Uh, definitely probably one of the more um, sketchy backups, because you can accidentally start sliding on your stomach and then die. Frostbite going for the fast strat, of, with the speed kick and everything, with the wing cap. He's got four more stars left in LLL, uh, which include Bullies, Big Bully, uh, Volcano, and it looks like he's going to be going for a regular Bully right now. Gainai getting the final star in SSL. Heading to LLL, but he also has one extra star because Frostbite did mit, in fact miss MIPS. <laughs> Guy and I now getting red coins first, just like Frostbite did, and Frostbite getting an insane bully's ground pound. Getting all of them in the span of milliseconds. Here we go. Two more stars left from Frost, and then he has to go grab the rabbit and get uh GDD stars.
barely getting that lava boost. That lava boost was very scary. And getting the fast rat at that. Boss now only has the elevator level. Gainai does have four stars left. Going into the volcano before getting the bully is an interesting strategy. Frost almost falling. He was very close to falling off. And it looks like he's going to get a 2148, which would be correct if he did get MIPS. But uh, it's more around of a 22 if he did have MIPS. And it looks like he is about to grab him. And he grabs him successfully, just like he would in 16 stuff. Frost is entering DDD and doing the chest star. Guy Knight getting his last star in LOL and going to be heading to DDD. And it looks like Guy Knight is getting a 2320 exit. Frostbite getting all perfect slims to head over to the sub. And while we're here, I guess, since DDD is kind of the most boring stage in the entire run, how is chat doing? How are how are all of you guys' days? How are you enjoying the sandbox journey so far? And how do you feel like how do you how do you feel about who will come out on top? Who do you think? And it looks like Frost is going for Manta, probably the thing with the most scuffed hitboxes ever. And Frostbite is now at, now heading into Fire Sea. by scrolling up the double jump movement, looking like he was going for a triple jump, but then just kind of uh, dipped out of that idea, and is missing Lava Boost Cycle, unless he can get up there extremely fast, which is definitely possible. Ooh. And taking a bomb, making the cycle impossible. Other than that little hiccup with uh, not getting the cycle, I mean, he did pretty good. That was a good fire scene. Other than that uh, little hiccup he had, 
2603 star grab, not too shabby. Frostbite gonna be getting a sub 27. Pretty good. A sub 27 fire C is nothing to scoff at. He's gonna be a little bit behind around. Uh, I think that's looking like 11 seconds. I shall go check. heading upstairs going to WDW getting to do the most satisfying 100 coins movement in my opinion Frost almost getting burned by that fire, which may have cost him that one blue coin. And you do not want to miss that blue coin, because you, you need it for the route that he is taking. You need that coin to finish coin star. Frost getting a, a clean WDW 100, and he cannot miss a single coin, and he did not. Looks like Frost is on pace for the perfect amount of points with this star. Taking a little bit of lag instead of switching to full Mario Camp, understandable since it is a little, a little tough, and getting burned. At least he did not fall off. If he fell off, that would have been quite awkward. now doing the 100 coin star himself uh i think he got a pretty clean fire c and he did not get burned yet frostbite is going to be going for the elevator though and the elevator is quite hard to do fast well not quite hard to do fast but quite hard to do fastest because the wall kicks are kind of iffy in that uh, platform. And I know from experience, and Dynite getting a clean 100 coins, I mean, secret spawn, and he will be probably getting a clean 100 coins. And he's just gonna have the perfect amount, just like Frostbite. Now we see if he gets burned. And he doesn't get burned, but it did almost look like he was going to fall off. Uh, Frost going for top of the town. by finishing up this stage and Gun Knight is going for the elevator. Four seconds behind his PB in a race. That is not too shabby, Frostbite. Now I'm going to THI. Has some of the coolest looking stars in the game. And Gainai is now getting uh, shocking arrows left. 
and will be getting top of the town as his last star. Clean secrets coming out from Frost, except for that little kick up at the end. And both runners did have a very clean WDW, with Frost only losing a couple of seconds and Guy and I uh, not losing too much either. instead of long jumping, not very cool. And getting the clip, very clean. Frost has one more star left, and that is the Corona Plants. It's safe to say Frost has had at least a one star lead the entire match, I um, mean, uh, the entire upstairs. It looks like he is also losing a little bit of time, but that is a-okay. see the infamous TTM mountain clip. Definitely interesting how people found it, I'm not even gonna lie, but it is a pretty cool trick and you also got to see Frost do the wall kick off of the log and that wall kick. There is a backup strat, you don't have to do the second wall kick. You can just uh, grab the ledge and do a side flip. Frost getting second clip fairly easily, and he is also going for wall kick again, and that was a clean second wall kick. Ooh, Guy Knight getting insta clip, saving about a second, maybe half a second over Frost because of his clips. And Guy Knight getting the star super heat fast. And Frostbite now going for Lone Mushroom. Lone Mushroom is definitely uh, the second easiest star in this entire um, in the entire route. Or the entirety of TTM, not the entire route. Ooh, Guy Knight taking a burn! Not ideal. Getting mountain clip and then taking a burn is... Ooh. Falling all the way down. Doing reds as a backup. Good strat. Good uh, routing coming out from Guy and I. Knowing his backups and knowing how to do them. Uh, even after making very dumb mistakes. That, are con that, that was a pretty RNG heavy mistake. And Frostbite also getting his red at the same time. But Frostbite only needs one more star. And Frostbite getting a clean star. And saving some time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mexico. Frost now in SL, and Gainai trying to go for Breezeless to make up a little bit of his lost time, but failing Breezeless. Breezeless is a very hard trick, for those of you wondering. Clean Snowman's head coming up from Frost. Uh, Gainai now going to do the Lone Mushroom. Gainai now heading to SSL, catching a little bit up on Frost, but also losing some time in the process. Frost is pretty far ahead, and both of these runners are going to be doing TTC 100. Around their level, you will not see uh, too many SL Reds unless you watch Moose, because Moose loves SL Reds and hates TTC 100, which is understandable. Frostbite heading out of SL, going into the basement again, going to capture MIPS and get the HMC stars, along with it. Frost saving 10 seconds on his SL and is now going into the basement to catch the rabbit. Gainai just getting the bully. Uh, this routing is quite weird. Uh, you usually get bully last, but Frost getting a clean first try mips grab. Frost opting to get Toad first. Uh, it doesn't really matter as much as it does in 16 uh, to get to get Toad after you get out of your first stock. But we will be seeing uh, some epic movement from both of the runners and Guy and I now just finishing up SL and heading into basement. These runners are definitely a little too fast, uh, too fast for me to solo comb them, and I recommend you check them both out. They're both very good Mario runners. Frostbite's on, been 49 pacing recently, and Gainai's just an overall good player. And Gainai did get a clean Mips grab, and Frostbite getting going for emergency exit. Frost gonna ooh and hits the button on the first dive. That is quite difficult if you do not know the timing that you are supposed to dive. And Gainai getting TJ box jump. One more star from Frost, and then he can go to the upstairs. And Frost saving 
uh, around 0.4 seconds, it seems, and now is going into Rainbow Ride. Rainbow Ride is quite quite difficult, especially if you're doing Lakitu Bounce. Lakitu Bounce can be RNG-influenced very hard. Oh, and Gainai missing the button press and having to do the backup, which does not lose too much time. Uh, and Frostbite going for lack to bounce. Hopefully his RNG is good and he does not get, ooh, and falling off. Not ideal, but he is going for reds. And Frost by getting clean reds is back up. Here we go! Yeah, dude, Frost is- ooh, missing and taking a death. Frost is definitely popping off this race, and Gainai is just now heading upstairs. Uh, you can see the Tilt and Frost, uh, face his- and his angular appearance. Um... Uh, that's not even the commentator's curse, that's the chat curse. I blame that on Timmy. And getting it- getting Lakitu. Lacky bounce. Very spicy. Surprisingly, I still think he is going to save time because he has 30 seconds of time save, and two de uh, a death and a missed lackey skip is not 30 seconds. Guy Knight zooming through RR, speeding up each second. And going for the fast rap, but failing. F. Big F, dude. Looks like Frost is having a little bit of trouble with the backup, but that is alright. As long as he can get it. Having to wait out the cycle. Not very ideal. Getting the backup strat, uh, losing a little bit of time though, screwing up- Ooh, a guy like taking a death! Frost now done with Rainbow Ride, but losing, like, he's a minute off, or 40 seconds off, and maybe he can take it back in Tippy, or not Tippy TTC, but it doesn't look like it. Frost not having a good time in TTC 100. Yeah. 
Gainai is catching up, I think? No, I think he's still behind because he is getting toad last. Frost taking a tumble, almost falling off of the entire map. Good backup from Frost. Definitely gonna lose him a little bit of time though, and that is not ideal. Frost still is on 51 pace, and he has a couple more stars to go. Did, did Guy Knight not get the 100 coin with Thwomp? Guy and I having trouble trying to get getting the movement. Oh, Guy and I died? Rest in peace. I didn't even see it. And Frost going in for one last star. Or two two last stars. He's getting time jumps and reds. One more star from Frost, and we are off. Frost going for the sexy 100 coin movement and fu fudging it a little bit. Frost, 52 pace in hand, definitely able to get a 52, as long as his movement is pristine. That was a very close long jump coming out from Frostbite, that was... That was too close for comfort, and he's getting the fast cycle. I don't know the cycles bits, but they exist. Ooh, taking a bonk. And it looks like Gainai is just finishing it up. First try left side, very pog. Uh, anyone in chat, do you know what Gainai's, like, PB is? 
and that Goomba is trying to ruin his life. Good thing Frostbite knows how to dodge Goombas. Good first throw from Frostbite. Clean second throw from Frostbite. And a clean third throw from Frostbite. He just got a 51 in a race. Very poggers of him. Fifty one in ways. Fifty one fifty seven. Now we have to see what Guy Nine gets to see how how much time the subsequent runners have to Ooh Guy Nine Missing it. Rest in peace Guy Nine. Going for moving left side definitely was not ideal there. Especially with how far behind he is, and he does need to make sure that there is enough time save that his opponent, his teammates, can try and make it up in the next races. And we've got it. We've got him into the throws. Clean first throw. Clean second throw. Frostbite with his clicky ass keyboard. Uh, Guy Knight getting three clean throws. Very poggers. Thank you all for the good luck. And Guy Nine with a 53 23. Timmy. So that's around a minute and 22 seconds. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special. Here we go! Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. And that was a race. Um, up next, we have... Uh, we have... Let's see, we have... Torsonine versus... Peaches. Well, up next we do have the SMS match, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, yes, this is a combined time range.
well, so far we do have Torsen Ein's gameplay up. Uh, now we are just waiting for the opponents. And there we go. We They do have it synced up. But it looks like Peaches is playing on a Peach file. support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders it is most pitiable the only way to ensure the return of the shine sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier the perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak and you mario are being treated as a criminal tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation Well, I mean, as we're sitting in a cutscene right now, how do you guys um, feel about this? I mean, about last race. That was a pretty fun race, pretty close up until the end. Looks like Peaches is in a cutscene now. I'm I'm so confused on how this is being synced, but let's just like this one. We are gonna see Horse Horse and I go straight into Bianco. Looks like Peaches did just start his timer and Tork9 is waiting for Mario, Shadow Mario to show up. And their timers are around a minute off at the moment. Uh, do you guys, uh, does anyone in the chat know these guys as PB? PBs. Torf9 bouncing off of the, uh, what's it called? 
the Skeeter and doing the cool jump is what I call it because it's pretty cool and he's also doing some wall jumps that I've never seen before And it looks like he is actually losing time to his special, which is quite, uh, quite interesting. But, let's see. Torg9 with a cool three hits. And falling down somehow. But I know that if you stand in a certain area, it will fast forward the cycle a little bit. And make it easier to finish off the boss. to see some pretty cool movement coming out from Torf 9. Uh, this movement is extremely cool and it looks incredibly smooth and it looks like Peaches is just finishing off the fight. Peaches with the final hit, 1026, 20, 10, around what? around what Torque 9 got and Torque 9 completely violating the speed industry by doing this movement I assume we're going to see both of these winners try and go for uh, the cutscene skip here, where, or not cutscene skip, but, well, I guess it is a cutscene skip, where you travel into Bianco as soon as, it's, as, as when the cutscene starts for the thing, for uh, Rico to pop up, because it will spawn you right in front of Rico Harbor, first time, and then, then you have to run all the way over, and I think I think it saves a decent bit of time. I'm not I'm not too uh, sure on the logistics of it or how much time it actually does save, but it it definitely is a time save that speedrunners could go should go for. As we can see, Torque uh, is actually splicing his run. As you can see, it does look like he did get uh, he did get the skip.
so class, you see we are we are looking at this PowerPoint. Uh, I think it's the speedrun history of Super Mario Sunshine that we're watching. Yeah, this PowerPoint's definitely interesting. It, it's teaching me so much. And Torque not Torque Nine is still splicing. Peach is getting a clean reds. Uh, to be honest, it it it's just kind of frozen now. Uh, and Peaches is catching up. And Peaches is not splicing, so I think I can make some win. And Kirk's stream is back. I know there is some issue, I mean there is some RNG to the pattern that you get from PD Piranha. Most of the time, you're, I, I think there's around like 700 and some patterns, um, but what you want to do is you want to make it so PD doesn't fly that much, that's basically it. And now we get to see JBS, or GBS, not JBS, but we get to see some GBS. Um, the mo probably the most useful trick in any percent, I'd say. It saves a lot of time and Sandbird. You don't have to do Sandbird with it. But basically how GBS works is you run into this uh, coconut until you, I mean, run into it. Like, like he's gonna do, and then as soon as you are falling off, you want to hold forward, uh, press your nozzle button, uh, hold, tap back, and then go neutral, and then you are in there. Or at least that's how I learned it. There's probably another method. And basically, what that does, GBS skip makes you get the. The eighth shine, so you can just go back and get the seven. So you you can skip all of them except for Shadow Mario. Oh, 
the original way of doing it? I don't... What do you mean by that? I just... I was just saying if there's a different way of GBS skip, I don't know it. Uh, yes, you can do all the skips in the remastered in the Switch version. It's not even remastered, it's just ported over. So all the glitches that are in the game on GameCube are in the game on Switch. And he just missing GBS. Oh, twice in a row. Rest in peace. And as you see, Torque 9 taking the the puppies and putting them in the water. As you can see, he got a very fast time, but I think he still is losing time over his split because he got bad RNG. Actually, I don't even know if those are RNG, to be honest. I know the big chain chomp is RNG, and do predictions? Uh, I mean, that's not up to me. We can see P on TCMO race. Definitely a joke. He's super easy. Well, real question I have is, was anyone born in 2302? like peaches is finishing up the dog moon i mean that's not even a moon it's a shine shout outs to the racers we already saw frost race and then we're watching port and peaches race follow all of them they all have different set of skills uh, i mean if if you want to see someone reset Tippy all the time, you should probably go watch Frostbite Kappa. Yeah, so basically how this works is there's three different runners and they're all speedrunning a different game and they add up their times and then see who won. Uh, Peach is uh, having a little bit of an interesting strat to race Piantissimo, and I think he actually lost, or they lost. Oh no. 
And it looks like Twerk got decent RNG. I'm not sure how, how good RNG can be in with the dogs. And uh, he's dead again. Well, I will... Okay, so Cat Jammers has Tor Torque 9, Light Round, and Frostbite. Aztec Water Llamas has Peaches. Um, there's no audio because Torque 9 is the one who's uh, who is giving the stream audio. And as you can see, he turned into a PowerPoint. Hello. If you can hear me in chat, it would be wise to inform me that you can. Oh, 
shit. Well, as we can see, uh, the Chucksters are back at it again, and it looks like Torque 9 is... Do Are you going to be doing post-match interviews? Post-match interviews? I mean, after all the matches, yeah, we can do them. If they want to. Peaches is doing the save the um where you take the group off of the piantas. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry if I can't really inform much about what's going on. I am not a Super Mario Sunshine runner, but I was kind of the only person available really. So as long I mean I think he's on the Bowser fight in uh in a park. I mean, Peaches is two minutes behind. Uh, like, their stream was two minutes behind, or they started two minutes later. Uh, so, it's gonna be... A little while till we actually find out, but I think we're gonna have to, like, actually wait for the end times. And Torque did get both of the cutscene skips, which is pretty cool. And... I think Wii has faster load times since it is better hardware, and uh, you can use a GameCube controller. So uh, most likely they're all playing on they're they're playing on Wii, unless they only have a GameCube. But it seems like Torque is in the secret area of Pinna. The one you use the Yoshi to get to. I if someone's looking at a stream like normally, can you tell me if? He got the fast yo the fast strat with the Yoshi and those uh, enemies. Looks like Peaches is also going for the clip. Very epic. Peaches misses it and is going to have to watch the cutscene. Thank you. 
I mean, some people enjoy long tongues, so you never know. You might find the right person. I wish they would have went for the German name of Shadow Mario, which is Morgana. It sounds infinitely cooler than Shadow Mario. Morgana. Shadow Mario. Just getting the cutscene scope. back into or maybe he's gonna go I don't know the route of this game entirely but it looks like he's going back in Pinna Peach is getting mole skip and now into the secret area He just got- Oh, he is! I can see it! Slowly but surely. He's making it over there, and Peaches is, uh, going back into the epic game that is Pina. You see, class, on the left we have a PowerPoint presentation being clicked by your teacher who has arthritis, tendonitis, and all the hand symptoms under the book. Clicking it as slow as usual, but somehow skipping a couple of signs. And then we see Peaches being clicked by a 20-year-old 20-year-old somewhere born in California uh, is clicking on Peaches' PowerPoint presentation. And as you can see, it's much more fluid, much less laggy, and there's no skipping any of the slides. Yeah. 
Um, I do Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, and it looks like Torque is in Rico Harbor, uh, judging from the ink everywhere. It looks like, uh, I think this is a three cycle of this. I'm not sure. This game confuses me. Yes, I've played Sunshine fully, it's just I don't know most of the tricks. Yeah, okay, so as we see, Peaches is doing um, Yoshi post time skip, post boredom, skip death, skip, and basically what that does is it gets you to the merry go round early. And. That's about it. And it looks like he just he just pulled off Yoshi uh, kill postmortem death skip uh, as you can see I think his angle's a little wrong though so he might not say it, it might not work oh and it looks like it's working. And he down warps. And it seems Peaches is reenacting postmortem Yoshi death kill death postmortem skip. As you can see, he is. Yeah, I mean, this does save. I mean, lose quite a bit of time getting that far and then down warping. And it's not ideal. Where is this Yoshi? As you can see, we're in spinny rectangular room, cog wheel, one up room. And Torque 9 is doing spinny cylindrical movement strats, which save a lot of time. Oh, <laughs> 
Splendido. Uh, looks like Peaches is finishing up uh, the room where you get with the Yoshi skip. Yeah, I think even while watching Torque 9's PowerPoint presentation, you can easily see that Peaches is behind. Because Torque is 46 and has already gotten like two or three, two to, one to two shines in Rico Harbor. I'm not 100% sure how many he actually got, but. BP flexing that he's gonna he's gonna get a 56 obviously I completely agree he is gonna get a 56 and light runs gonna get a 50 As we can see, Peaches is doing blooper scooper to dooper. A uh, skip where he basically fights the blooper normally. As we can see, Blooper the Scoop or Blooper Skip did actually successfully work. Uh, Peaches doing it. Is that how you're supposed to get in there? I, I can't even tell you if that's right or not. Hmm. Oh, this strat. This cool strat. We just run around in circles.
Yeah, we call that strat run around in circles until you complete the race. As we can see, Tort is actually doing the strat we call Slice and Dicing, where he actually takes parts of his better runs and puts them in to his bad runs. That's true. I mean, it probably is close. There's definitely something that could happen. And as we see, Peaches is now doing the proclaimed uh, whoopie scoopy a loop de doop de movement. Uh, the cylindrical movement strats that save time because they're good. And <laughs> no way. He just clipped through that. He just said, <laughs> let me clip through that. And do not forget to follow the racers. They put a lot of time and effort into, be get, into getting good at speedrunning. And, uh, you know, they, de they deserve followers. That is basically what I have to say. And Peach is getting cylindrical movement strats the second try. As we can see, I think Torque is fighting the Manta Ray in the blue place. And Peaches is doing Spinny Winnie, Blinny Skinny uh, in Rico Harbor at the moment. And he is going over to the, the boss? I'm, I'm like, my brain hurts. It really does. <laughs> I can't believe it, he just got the fastest cycle. We named that after Simply N64, the Mario 64 runner. Uh, and he just completely demolished him. Definitely has something to do with this game and not just throwing random names around, but that was the fastest cycle named after Simply. Uh, I mean, pretty much. <laughs> Torque continuously uh, well, he's definitely doing a little bit better. Uh, although I don't even know where he is.
So Peaches is going to be pressing the red coin switch and grabbing the green blooper because he's slow and turns fast. Uh, you could grab the fast blooper, but you know what that's called? That's called capitalism. You're generous for saying point four. I don't think all bloopers are the same, are they? Well, one of them turns better, I know that. That's all I know. Well, Tort, um, yeah, I, he's just instant transmission into the stars at this point. That's literally all I can think of, and he's just brutally murdering, murdering, murder, murdering Do Dr. Mario, because Dr. Mario's in this game. No, he's brutally murdering, murdering Shadow Mario. See, words aren't that hard when you speak English. Peaches going in, into Bianco Hills uh, to do star six and seven. Uh, well, here we see Peaches doing very epic gamer strats right now. He's using the water to slide fast. I mean, who would have thought that would work? But he is going to the the secret with the not the boost nozzle. That's what it is, and it's a pretty cool one. It's like Flip Switch Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy, and he's dead. Well, as we see, Torque is going to the room where you fight the boo, I think, or maybe he's clipping in with the banana or whatever fruit it is and going through the wall. And now he's definitely going into, uh, into the boo pipe. <laughs> and then we got, uh, oh, give me a sec. As it seems, he is... Yahoo! Well, as we see, Torque's gonna be going for the fast route where you do a spin jump off of the cube to go ultra mega fast and get to the end. And I'm just gonna assume he got it. And Dr. Mario still has the nozzle hostage, which is not is very ideal because you don't need that nozzle. And we just see Shadow Mario getting brutally assaulted. Again, he just has no regard for his mental health, no regard for his physical health, and no regard for his kneecaps.
as we can see, he is grabbing Yoshi now to perpetually grab this pineapple and go fight the Manta Ray in Serena whatever. And as we see, Torque is actually using the Ultra Mega Gambling strats that were developed by Dede himself, uh, where he just wins by having negative FPS. Here's the first thing I don't know. I don't even remember how to kill the Manta Ray properly, so I'm just gonna simply spray water on him until he dies. And it looks like Torque is uh, on his final hit of King Boo in this casino. Peaches has had a clean Serena so far. The Manta Ray isn't giving him too much trouble. He hasn't... They? Oh, sorry. Uh, but they, uh, they had a clean, epic, clean Manta thing. I don't even know which person you're talking about, to be honest, but uh, now the hotel is back. Uh, as we can see, we are currently seeing Peaches go in Serena again, which is pretty, pretty poggers. And then we got Torque in Serena already. Oh, he's in Serena 6. He's cleaning it up. Okay. And we're going to see Peaches go into the hotel now. Whatever that movement was, Peaches just did the uh, spinny twirly fast movement getting to secret level strat, and it was actually developed by Peaches, obviously. No scam, no lie. I definitely know what I'm talking about. And they are currently in a sand room, which is, uh, oh, Drew. Uh, they're currently in a sand room, and it's not very hot for them because they just died. And they died again. Rest in peace, Peaches. They will be missed. Hopefully they can get the Ultra Gamer movement this try. Let's see, are they going to get the Ultra Gamer movement? One away from game over. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh! Playing it safe. Wombo combo.
and third time seems to be the charm yet again. And as we can see, Torquenine is in uh, JRB, Jolly Roger Bay. Uh, so, I, I guess we're just going to watch him just do some normal stuff. Maybe he'll uh, free the eel from the ship, get the ship star. Who knows? But currently it looks like he's going to bomb the mole at the top of Noki Bay. Peaches grabbing the banana. I think we're going to see the fruit clip. That's the only strat I know the name of. And yeah, we are going to see the fruit clip. Well, it looks like Noki Bay is going swimmingly, and Peaches is now going, uh, yeah, I don't know where Peaches is going, but they're going somewhere. Oh, they're getting a one left life. Uh, now we get to see Peaches go for the slot machine tunnel, I think. Yeah, the slot machine tunnel. Uh, if he can, they can get the pipe. Uh, let's see. Pretty swag, dude. Wow, totally tabular. And looks like he's going to the epic rectangular box thing, and he's going to do the spinny jump on the cube. <laughs> Radical. Shine get. As we can see, Peaches is now, in fact, going into the, the hotel once again, because the hotel, of course, but they're going to have Mario check the sound basement in the basement, because apparently Mario's a fix-all fix -all plumber. I mean, he, I guess he is a plumber. I mean, I'm not wrong about that. And looks like we get to see... Epic Boo. Now let's see if Peaches uses the same... The same strats as Torque 9 on this and infinitely beating them with about three frames in between. Looks like he grabbed the hot pepper, and he's going to grab a fruit, because apparently peppers and fruit do not mix whatsoever. I mean, it would only make sense if it was citrus, because citrus sucks.
Well, it seems like Peaches is not using reframe strat. Rest in peace. Well, we see it. Mario, Shadow Mario has in fact taken hostage one of the nozzles that you will need to complete the game, but good thing for us, we are speedrunners. We do not need such trivial, materialistic items since we already used that. We already went to... It's not Gelato, it's the one on top of the Shine Tower. Finishing up Noki Bay, I think. I think he's on Shine 7. We'll find out in the next episode. I guess. He's on Shine 6. And Peach has just finished up Serena 6. Nice, Peaches on Serena 7, and Torque on Noki 6. One more shine, and he can end off his- Oh, when he died! And Twerk is almost done with <laughs> with Noki 6, I think. I think he's close. And he's grabbing the star. And Peach is just entering Noki Bay now. Twerk finishing up Noki Bay while Peaches is just entering Noki Bay. But I guess there is a two two uh two minute time thing going on.
and it looks like Torque is actually in in Kakona Mountain, and Peaches is on second shine. So hopefully we see epic stuff. I'm surprised we did not see even a little bit of a glimpse of the teeth cleaning montage that you have to do on the PowerPoint over there. And there we go, we got the, he's gonna get the clip, and hot tamale, he got the Uh, Torque in the final fight, it seems. I think it's still possible to get sub 120, one but I, I don't even know, to be honest. Uh, but Peaches is now going into the bottle. is collecting are quite annoying casually i i can say that from experience oh sick you got sub 120 1948 11948 sub 120 and uh i think peaches is on i can't really see his splits but uh if someone would like to inform me what he's on right now uh that'd be very cool Get to play Dentist Simulator 2000 and I think two. Yeah, Dentist Simulator 2002 starred with Mario. But basically, what you gotta do here is you gotta clean this man's teeth, and for some reason, sometimes you can shoot them through the side of his face, and then sometimes you can't. Uh, that's about about the extent of my knowledge. And he's getting a couple of teeth clean. Uh, more than a couple. Three. Four. He's around a 128 if things go well. Sick. Yeah, this this star can go not exist anymore. He keeps on- he, he's almost like getting screwed over a little bit by this man. Well, well, he's- I think he's trying to get, uh, he's trying to get assaulted. Well, it was a good race. Torque got a sub-120, which is very good, because I'm pretty sure world record is only a 113.4, and that's on both versions, surprisingly. Um... 
but Peach is almost dying from drowning. Uh, let's hope he doesn't drown. I hope they don't drown. And uh, they finished. The star. Yep, we, uh, they started with SM64, and Cat Jammers did win that one. And now we have, um, uh, Torque also won this one. So Cat Jammers won two in a row. And now we have, uh, Peaches, Peaches is asked to finish, and so, Torque got a 11948 and Frost got a 5157. So that means they're ahead by quite a bit because there was a two minute difference. They took there's a two minute difference on the SM64. Yeah, your stream did look like that the entire time. Well, we can see that Peaches uh, is going to no be six, and all the racers, as Frostbite just put in chat, those are all the racers links that are participating in this race today. Uh, Frostbite and Guy and I already duked it out, Frostbite, the winner, by around a minute 23. Um, you are watching Peaches and Torque duke it out right now. Uh, Torque has a 119.48, and Peaches is on pace for a 128. So that's about a 10 minute difference. And the next run is going to be Light Ron versus EP3142. Come <laughs> on. 
don't worry, we're gonna see BP get a 59 in his race. 100% true. I found it from the source of whatever I found it from. But Peaches is going to Kona Mountain. And we will hopefully see some hot and spicy Kona Mountain gameplay. Sources, trust me, bro. Uh, Peaches is gonna get <laughs> sub hour right now. Source, trust me, bro. Ron has a 59. That was a good idea to have voice actors in this game. The only one I can accept is Toad. His voice makes sense. It's extremely like nails on chalkboard esque. Like cat scratching cat post. That's exactly what it sounds like, and that's what he should sound like, because that's basically the embodiment of his character. And Peach is getting gooped. And Peaches winning with a one, not winning, 129.01 to 119.48. That is about eight minutes and 13 seconds split. So in total around 11 minutes. And next up we have Light Run versus BP31. Numbers, numbers. So... I will be here for that as well, I think. Mario, was I well, I will wait for the, uh... The, the next racers to get up. And I will be right back. Mario, look.
And it looks like they are practicing at the moment.
I thought this was complete practice. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh... Huh. Well, they're, it's completely unsynced as well. That's why I thought it was like a... Not a race. Uh, hmm. This is interesting. Well, I guess we got Light Run versus BP31 here, and uh... Uh, it looks like BP is in... Is behind. Um, I'm so confused. Well, whatever. He's in wooded. Well, Ron is in. This is so confusing. Well, Ron is at the 24 minute mark. BP is at the 13 minute mark. So that means the timers aren't synced and BP failed. Uh, Flower Road skip. And he's going to back it up right now. Um, and it looks like Ron is just about to get into the Wiggler fight. BP going into flooded pipes, uh, doing a spiritless route, and nut clip, I think he did nut clip. Well, looks like BP is in Lake Kingdom. Did he go to Wooded first? Oh. 
Ron almost dying in bullet room? I'm not sure at all how this is paced out right now. It is quite confusing to tell who's ahead and who's not. Ron finishing up Metro Kingdom while BP is going into Cloud. So, Ron is most likely going to go for, D not DSS, but, uh, Dram, and he probably is going to get it, hopefully, and as we see, BP is now in Moscow. Well, it looks like BP is doing a, a a weird version of Cage. Uh, I mean, Iron Cage. And Ron is now going into the Goomba Room. Uh, bunking on the entrance, though.
And Brown is buying the shop moon. That means he will be attempting to snow Snowdram. And T minus like 20. Seaside Kingdom, and it looks like BP is going to get a clean second cycle. That was such a good cycle, or a pattern, that was actually insane. And that was second cycle. Looks like BP is going into the slot machine and he is going to be getting the slot machine. And he got it extremely fast using the spin throw tactic. And I think after this he does go to bullet room. And he did end up going his night mission score. And <laughs> a 39 exit from uh, Ron. Uh, that's pretty insane.
BP grabbing the moon, gonna go into the people's room and finish off his run that way. Uh, and well, Lightron, he's got Lightron's got some cool splits, like he's got a cool timer and everything like that. I like it. Um, let's see. Uh, and he fell. Rest in peace. Taking a death. Yeah, it seems like BP is now finished with Metro Kingdom. And I think he is gaining time or not. I think he's not bad, but he didn't lose time, I don't think. Looks like he lost a second or two. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, light is doing spiritless. Seven fifty one exit. Looks like BP is also going for spiritless. Some six launching. same spot that Ron did. And now we have 
DP doing it. Ooh, getting a spin throw. And that one's significantly harder than the one he did earlier. Make the world go round. getting the sub-7 luncheon, and Ron going up to the mech as we speak. Thank you. 
gotta account for the time that it took his teammates to finish their runs, and the sunshine run was like nine, eight minutes behind, nine minutes behind. So, and then the 70, 70 run was a minute 23. Yeah, don't worry. I think Ron is definitely gonna lose 12 minutes somewhere and BP is just gonna catch up like that. Uh, BP's actually gonna get world record this run. He's got about 10 minutes. I think he can do it. Ron should definitely take a nap. Definitely ideal for him. Ideal place for him to take a nap. Oh, it looks like he can't PB. Rest in peace. Someone sing him a lullaby. He's looking quite nappy right now. I might have to put him to sleep. Missing the first hit and taking some damage. Getting a clean back up though. Not wasting too much time fighting Bowser. Up, 
Oh, uh, looks like Ron is an escape now. Oh, um, yeah, just the beginning part of escape and BP is in fun. Ron ending it off with a 104.31. A good run from him. Super Mario 64, I mean not Super Mario 64, Super Mario Odyssey practice round and just teleport to the MVP. It's easy. Yup, BP is on 101 players. just my prediction.
And we got a 5646 exit, and hopefully we can see BP of PB. And it looks like BP is going vector crazy. Everyone loves a good vector. We will be seeing BP getting one wall. That was kind of nuts. like a good first count from BP, which is always a pleasure to see. Good second half from that from BP. Let's hope we'll see a good data. Ron trying to get on out of bounds with the scooter. Probably one of the old the oldest clips in this game, besides the one in Cascade. Uh, but BP uh 5946 into escape, which is always cool. <coughs> and Ron got the clip. I didn't know that they actually made a death barrier there now. See if he gets 2D skip 2.0, and he does. And we are in pillars, definitely on 101 pace. If he has a good, a really good pillar, it's not a really good pillar, but if he gets a good pillar, he will get a one on one. Okay. Uh, but he got two pillars. And it looks like it's going to be 1 to 1, 32, is my prediction. Let's see. 1 to 1, 
44. Three, uh, around three minutes better than Ron. Um, but I think that concludes the, the this race of Cat Jammers versus Aztec Water Llamas. And I'm, Cat Jammers did come on top, come out on top after this race. Um, um, SMS was a little troubling and stuff like that, but I mean, it was good races all around. No one played too terrible. And yeah, here. Uh, if you want to do interviews, I guess we can do interviews. But here, if we do this, uh, go follow all the racers included in this event. Uh, definitely, they took time out of their day to join the tournament, and I would really appreciate it if you all followed them. I mean, if you want, yeah. I think. I think you're allowed to. I'm not sure. Is there another one stood here? Names in this one? I have no idea. But, um, I don't know. Uh, here, come on. Looks like we do have BP here. Um, hello, BP. How do you feel about your race today? Uh, honestly, so um, you could tell going in, I had like practically zero shot at winning. Like, it was just unfortunate, like stuff from the first two races, and like not much we could do. Everyone has off days, so like all that. But I just decided, all right, I'm gonna go for literally everything I know how to do. And it didn't work out too bad. Less than a minute off PB with some, like, really ridiculously bad time losses. Like, I lost 30 seconds to Lake Clip and Lake. I lost um, uh, 15 seconds to missing a Strat and Metro that's pretty costly. Um, and Spiritless, I took a death. So that that already is at my PB. And I had so many other big mistakes. I was I was really happy with that. I might end up actually adding some new Strats in the future now. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about it. Yeah, it was definitely fun to watch you go for uh, some hard strats. Uh, how do you how do you feel about your race round? Uh, this was something for sure. Uh, I mean, my teammates carried me. To be honest, they gave me a a good lead. So I had to pay some respects to BP going for Spiritless. So I tried it uh, on my side too, but uh, I still need to practice. Uh, Thank you for that. That was yeah, yeah. yeah I, I tried. I put I mean, a lot fine. of time into learning that, so <laughs> I was glad you showed it off. I was I had the race open on the side, obviously. Yeah, I tried that uh, because um, it was um, a snow drum. I went for the place because I uh, I practiced it uh, to add it in once in the future. But uh, I went for it. Uh, and I didn't want it, so <laughs> they just messed some memory messing up, so that's why I went first spiritless. Otherwise, uh my rig game was decent. Even with uh time loss in uh, in set, but uh since the lost I was uh indeed lost for sure. I will take it. I had a fun to do this race. It was pretty cool. My team plays pretty well. The other team play well too, so GG guys. I really appreciate it. I thanks the viewers for commentating the whole uh, match. 
You did a good job. That, that was a very, very fun race to watch today. Uh, so, I mean, both both players on each, all the players on each team played well in their own respect. They all did something good. How are you feeling, Torque Torque Nine? Uh, I'm feeling right. Uh, my goal for races is to at least get sub 120, and that's what I got, so not too bad. And yeah, just for information, after this race, Frost just went to do runs, and he just got a 40 seconds PB, so GG to him. No. Yeah, yeah he I just had the stream people. open. I really? just saw that. <laughs> he just yeah, PB'd he... by like 40 seconds. Yeah, he got a big yeah. PB. Yeah. Congrats oh, to him on that. Good. That's, That's my teammate. Sick. Dude, nice. GG's. But yeah. Wow, Jim. Uh, I got a pretty decent mid game. Like, that's how it goes usually. I get bad early game, then my mid game is okay, and I get bad late game. That game is pretty rough in uh, yeah. the free games. It can uh, mess up us a lot. Yeah, uh, Frost, uh, this is off topic, but uh, everyone did really well. I mean, the SM64 race was extremely close. Same with the Smell race. Uh, but Frostbite golded like 12 splits or something just now. And I think that's pretty insane. Yeah, <laughs> he popped off. He did. Like a 40 seconds PB when you're already at like 51 level. That's pretty insane. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm gonna congratulate him later. That's so cool. Let's go Cat Jammers. <laughs> yeah, Team Cat Jammers on the, on the rise. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Oh, I mean, do you guys have any closing comments? Well, uh, I guess. Okay, I, I feel bad for cutting you guys off, but uh, thank you for the race. Uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun for me to actually be able to pull off a lot of the hard strats on camera. So that was cool. And thank you for commentating, Devious. Much appreciated. It's <laughs> really hard commentating games you're not familiar with, I know. I know. So, oh, like, I, for I, sure. Yeah. For sure. The only one I didn't know was uh, SMS, but my throat started hurting after SMS, so I didn't really speak too much in this one. Yeah, GG to all the runners today. Yeah, GG's. That was a cool race. Yeah, cool race for mm -hmm. sure. How many other races happened today for uh, the real tournament? So. Yeah, there was a lot. Pretty hype. <laughs> Can't yeah, wait for uh, our next match. Uh, in the one of the small matches I commentated before your guys is uh, it was seven seconds off. It was Silo and Tilo, and they were seven seconds apart at the end. Oh yeah. damn! I missed the end of that one. That's nice. That's crazy for a relay race like that to be seven seconds apart. Yeah, and they were the first race, so like, <laughs> whichever one came after could just capitalize on that if they were better than the opponent. It was pretty interesting and fun to watch. Cross races are always fun to watch. And I know a lot uh Taido and Silo are both uh, pretty good runners in Simo, so Yeah. <clears throat> On the rise for sub hour. Both yeah, of them yeah. definitely in the conversation. It's hard to have close races when SMS is in there though, because sometimes if SMS doesn't like you, you just lose five minutes and if it actually likes you you save two minutes compared to what you ever get, get in average yeah just by ing nice <laughs> i think i think the best part about sms is i didn't know the name of any tricks except for like gbs and <laughs> a bunch of <laughs> stuff like that but i i just started making up names and yeah, we came up with loopy scoopy doopy cylinder jump fast movement 
Uh, what is that? Have... Where? <laughs> I, I, I don't even remember where it was. I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. But it was somewhere. Uh... It was, it was very interesting, and the fact that you were running at uh, your stream on the restream was 0.4 FPS. That was also yeah. I don't know why it was fine on my end. That's the weird part. I think it's because it crashed at the beginning. And then, yeah, I, 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 my internet is usually super stable, and like, I was in Bianco. I looked at my OBS and I saw like red light blinking everywhere. So I was like, oh god, what is happening? And yeah, my internet decided to die. At the worst moment possible. But yeah, I like after when it went back, I it was fine for the rest of the run. I didn't drop any frame, so I don't know why it was a slideshow in the restream. But yeah, whatever. I mean it made for some good jokes, uh, but <laughs> that's about it. But yeah, you got uh, any anything else we uh, you need to add or anything? Uh, uh, I don't, don't think I have anything to add myself. Me never. Well, everyone watching, drop a follow to the commentator for sure. True. Oh, I'm flattered. You should follow every single racer because they are cool. <laughs> are we? I mean, if you can get a one night sub 120 in a SMS race, I mean, you're pretty cool. Well, thanks. I tried to get a sub 119 next time to be even cooler, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. But yeah, I think uh, this is where we're going to end it. And uh, I think I think you, Ron's team won. So uh, For sure. I think they're yeah. moving on. Yep. I don't know how this tournament works, uh, but Frost was like, hey, you want to commentate stuff? And I said, sure. So I joined. Uh, that's about it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's just single eliminations and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, other than that, I think we're going to end it off. And it was fun racing. And I will see you guys later. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Later. People, hi, sorry, um, 
Okay, bid bro, I DM'd you my layout. Um, I'm going to be right back just because I want to um, change the horizontal splits. But yeah, how you guys doing? That was fun as hell. <laughs> I don't know how that was 101. That was so ridiculous. I don't talk much, um, Bab. Um, yeah, I... Normally, I, I try to focus more during my runs, and I have a really loud house, like, 90% of the time, so I can't talk, even if I wanted to, but I like focusing anyway, but, yeah. Thanks for the fall a while ago. Sorry, I couldn't thank you. Thank you! I appreciate that. I would have liked to do better, obviously, but I'm very happy with how that went. I'm probably not going to be... Well, I have a monitor, but it's a matter of my parents not really wanting me to be in my room playing games all day, which will probably be what happens to be fair, but still, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to do more runs, because I'm playing like a, <laughs> like a madman right now. What is, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I nailed, like, everything <laughs> that I went for, except for... Basically, the only time losses that I had were really big, and that's the reason the time was bad. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to keep going. I'm playing really well. So, yeah. Might have to end off soon, though. I might only have time for one more run, but I'll try. Uh, no, I'm in college now, but unfortunately, the online everything. So, like, yeah, it just sucks. Honestly, I could definitely manage my time well enough to stream at a good time and still play this game all, all a bunch, but like I understand why they wouldn't want me in the room with it, so I'll respect that. And they're really they've been a lot more lenient with how much I'm allowed to stream lately, so I'm just going to relax a bit until I can get a little bit more freedom later on. That was really slow. Yeah, they didn't used to be, but since they kind of realized that COVID sucks and we can't really do anything, they've been a lot more lenient with the amount of time I'm allowed to play. <laughs> Jeez, this is a really sloppy cap. It's not getting better. Might go for DSS, depending on how what the final time is. It's like right on the borderline for me where I don't want to continue it, but at the same time, I'm most likely... Oh, wait, it's even 221. All right, yeah, I guess I won't go for DSS. This is fine. I can still... I can really easily PB this, so I don't know. Oh, it's 222. Yeah, still... It's like basically flat. It is flat. It's actually 222 flat. Uh, I'm in my first year, so I'm still an undecided major, but most likely it's going to be math and physics or math and CS. I'm a massive nerd. Then again, I'm playing a kid's game fast, so you could probably figure that out. Oh no, I'm completely fine reading chat. Don't worry about it. Ultimately, it's my choice whether I read chat or not, and then I will answer as many questions as I'm comfortable.
Engineering, nice. I was really considering engineering, but I have not taken a single engineering class and have zero experience. So unless I'm able to take an elective next semester, not not this one, but after, then that's probably not happening. And I'm, I'm pretty good at math, so... I don't know how to do this fight, apparently. Pingus? What the? That's rude. Thank you, ghost. I will go. Oh, I should change my title. Cool Kate, if you're here, could you, like, change it to any percent or something? Thank you for the good duck, Ghost. Thank you, Cool Caden. I appreciate that. Oh, Smothing. I, that's what I said. We at. We at. You're on a roll here. You might want to misspell your next word, too. do I stream? I've been going daily for like a long time, but I don't really have a schedule. <laughs> I've been streaming at like 3 EST for like the entirety of two months, but I've not set a schedule. It's kind of weird. But all right, maybe I shouldn't do runs anymore because this is not going too well so far and I might have used up my juice, but I'll try to I'll continue this one as far as it goes and then see how I feel. I know, right, Renlev? What the heck? Finally got that. Oh, I was still like a 19. When is darker side with Mike? I wish. I do not. I don't have. People will not be out of my house for long enough to do that. <laughs> All right. See you, Bab. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the follow. And thanks for cheering me on during that race. <laughs> kind of needed that. We only lost by 10 minutes. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Even if I'm in my room playing, the, I play on handheld from time to time in my room. I have like a tissue box with a hole in the bottom, and then I can put the um, the charging cable in inside. That way, I can like play for more than ten minutes, or like I think it's an hour and a half at last, or something for me. But yeah, I play on handheld sometimes in my room. What the heck? Scuff cascade movement. Thank you for the follow, Joe. And I, it's still too loud to actually not have background noise, and I'd really prefer not to have background noise when I'm streaming if at all possible.
that was slow. <laughs> Well, this is a weird cascade, but hey, whatever. Yeah, the I stream with people in like this room all the time, and it's weird, but I can deal with it. But when they start talking, I can't like help listening, and then it gets hard to focus at the same time. So I don't know. I just gotta cope with it. I'm really glad I got the capture card because I used to have to go through like a really dumb process of putting like the blinds down, making sure that it was dark enough outside so I didn't have to do something extra to improve the um, the background. That way nobody was in frame or anything. So it was just not enjoyable to be able to just to Turn on the computer, go to the room, and stream. You had to do a bunch of stuff beforehand, so I'm glad that's over. I also had to get like chairs out to put the camera on and all that. I'm gonna keep going for the triple jump in people room because like no one does it and it's really cool so I'm gonna keep going for it I found a semi consistent setup for it as well so that's that's the reason that was good That's the main strat I think I'm gonna add. I can't think of anything else. My PB has, I think, most of the strats that I'm gonna do. I might add DSS, because I figured out what I was doing wrong and it's a lot more consistent now. But I don't know. I think that's the only strat I'll add. Really? I was like just a little bit too far to the left. Nice. Good to know. <laughs> what? Whatever. Can this still work? I think this can still make single bill. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> 
not an ideal sand. I should be resetting. But it's okay. I think I should probably do a low reset. Even though I just did a race. But I feel like that would be better right now. What the? That was worse than the sand I got in the race, and I missed, and in the race I literally missed. I missed single bill, so I had to get flowing stands instead. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's okay. Dude, that wooded was so amazing, but I missed flower road skip. The fact that I got a freaking 518 missing flower road skip in the way I missed it, that's so good. Ah, I, I, I wish I... If, I, I don't know what it would have been, but it, that was just a really good win. I nailed like everything, except I think I think I had some small mistakes at the shop movement. But other than that, it was really good. Shop ramp and FRS, I think. Let's try to replicate that, except without the FRS. Okay, I need coins. All right. Really, man? This works, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll end it here. Maybe... I had a bad spiritless that run. I'll try to get one IL going. I'm not heading out quite yet. I'm not ending stream yet, I'm doing spiritless.
Got zero vector. I can't. Okay, raid. I don't have energy for this right now anymore. I was feeling good after that, but no longer. Oh, Agron just finished. No. Okay, I'll still raid him. Yeah, he just got a 325 darker. So just say like GG or something. Shit, dude, I don't even know. I'm so exhausted, I can't even think of a thing to say. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm so tired. <laughs> I forgot how, like, much endurance this run takes. Wait, is BP not live right now? It says he's hosting me. Oh, hi, BP. Wait, you raided me? Dang it, dude. I was going to raid you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's awkward. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the GGs, dude. I know you wanted to raid, but GG. Small PB. Dude, so much dumb shit happened in this post game. So, you want to know what happened in this post game, BP? Uh, you, so you know the Bowser moon in the arena, the Grandpa moon? Uh, Mario did a stupid roll cancel, and I lost track of where it was, and I haven't learned how to back it up yet. So I literally sat there for like 40 seconds trying to Grandpa on the moon, and I was like, fuck it, I'll just warp and reset the area. I'm like, oh my god. So that was big mistake number one in the post game. Big mistake number two in the post game was, uh, Cappy freaking screwed me over with getting the moon in the sky and wooded during bird cycle so not only did i lose time during bird cycle i also lost time because i had to warp back up and reset the cycle and then i somehow died in sand two timer again i'm such an idiot <laughs> he raided us though dang it dude now i need to find another channel that's live well whatever i guess the next channel will get eight viewers am i right instead of four 
two small streams put together will be a uh, slightly larger raid. So uh, that's cool. Oh, God. I have no idea who to raid now, dude. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's raid Dangers. I haven't- I haven't been in Dangers stream since he stopped playing Odyssey. Which is kind of sad, actually. Let's just raid Dangers. Hopefully I did this right. Alright boys, if you got awesome pogs, send them your way. Um, uh, if you don't, uh, type Snoodle in the chat. Dangers knows what Snoodle is. Alright, well thanks everyone for watching. This was fun. Starting to get into the groove of doing the category again. Even though I'm so exhausted after a three hour category. I have no endurance anymore. All right. Well, see you guys.
so much for playing my game. Did you say red and black? Oh, I've got no clue, bro. Oh boy, get ready everyone. This is gonna be fun! Bubble Breeze. I, one, I know it's a 139. Damn, I missed the cycle. I nearly food. Whoa! I didn't mean to go zoom straight away. Oh, battle! 
Is Miggy DN screaming again? I don't know what he's doing. No, but I got 128 star bits in Sling Pod. Let's go. August. Nice 43. Thanks, Senor Cloud Kirby. Thanks, man. I wasn't talking to you. Man. You go. Seven. Oh boy, Battle Rock 1. I love how Rosalina <clears throat> is so impressed about a uh, comet starting to appear. Oh yeah, you're pretty low by the way. Try to get as many as you can from Battle Rock 1. Oh yeah, I will. Thanks, man. Nice, nice double jump right into the teleport. Thanks, man. I worked really hard on that one. <laughs> I have two pieces. I should be able to get quite a few. <clears throat> yeah. Flygon man, I have poopy, so I should be able to get quite a foo. A foo. Umbra. Mafu. Mafu. I, I swear, don't you do bubble breeze before, um... I don't know, uh, you have the splits, check. Pretty sweet as well. I think you do. I'm not worried. Just scroll down, you forehead. I'm literally in the middle of a... Dude, you, you're, you're, you're gonna be on an auto scroll in about five seconds. Yeah, I know. Calm down. Let me, let me... Let me get to that first. Mine, mine's still going on about something. While you were gone flying on there, he was on about fucking bananas or something. Oh, uh, he loves those big bananas. He's laughing about something. Yeah, you do bubble breeze before sweet sweet. Yeah, so you're probably fine. Plus, I do like beach ball secret and stuff as well. <clears throat> yeah. Which will give me 50. Is that a good battle rug or would you lead you? Or would you even want to get the game to go? Uh-huh. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it at that because... Thank you for the good night, Bramison. Good luck to you two. Hi. <coughs> hey, I'm out of here, dude. Alright, have fun. You good night, you. dude. See you later, big dude. He hasn't left yet. Are you gonna leave? Yeah. Fuck off already. Alright, Dickweed. I'm leaving. Bye, Dickweed. Take him long enough. No! Sorry, that was my mind impression because I could hear him. <laughs> I gotta see it, actually. I got my mic. I forgot my mic was still on. Yeah, we heard yeah, everything. We, we heard everything. We heard you fucking the girl. I'm talking about bananas and shit like that. Yeah. I'm... I'm a BRB. Pizza. Oh, you. Why did I think that was going to work? Dude, come on.
Come on, let's get this. That would have worked too, fuck. Come on! I can't seem to get space jump on skip, how epic. Come on! I would like to have this work once in a blue moon. What the fuck is going on? What is this? What direction are you holding? Down. Try it down right. There we go. I, I didn't think it was because of the direction I was holding. Yeah, I think you were just gonna be kind of unlucky. Um, I think sometimes what I try to do is, like, before I pop the bubble, I'll try to hold left. So like sometimes they'll face left. Yeah, true. You could try that. Let's not mess up fucking last section. Yeah, usually I'm here at about uh, three fourteen on a first try. Space jump one skip. <laughs> Only losing about a minute and forty five. <laughs> yeah, good, good game. Am I right? Uh, that's just that's just space jump one skip. Sorry, I just needed to sing up for a second. Oh, that, was close. that was a close stinky, but we good. Monka. Monkus. Can he finish with more than one minute remaining? Yes, he can. Dude, a 404 gold for Space Junk Comet. Let's go. Yeah.
Shit! How did that one not work? Did I get bonked on the wall or something or just not have any speed? 